So in today's video, we're going to learn several techniques for making a really neat and a really cool looking eclipse design in Adobe Illustrator. And this is something that takes no time at all. And sponsoring today's video is Envato, which has a huge selection of graphic design goodies to download to help with your next project. Stick around to the end of the video to see how I made use of some of their vectors to make this design right here. So the important and the first step of today's tutorial is that you want to be working with an RGB document and that's so that the effects do actually render effectively. Also, if you have the align to pixel grid function turned on, you should deselect it here. Now we want a nice and a dark background and I'm going to go for a somewhat blue to black hue. Now press M for the rectangle tool and then cover the entire artboard with a rectangle. And I'm using a 1080p canvas today. Now press command or control 2 and this will lock down your background. And lastly, before we start our design, make sure you have the document raster effect settings set up to above 300. Again, this is going to help with the effects later. Now press L for the ellipse tool and hold down shift while clicking and dragging to make a circle. Now this circle should have the same fill color as your background. Much of the eclipse effects are going to be created in the appearance panel. So let's go ahead and open that up right now. Now in the top right fly down menu, we're going to add the first of four strokes and make sure you have the circle highlighted when you're doing this. The first stroke is going to be a cyan sort of color and the stroke needs to be dragged to the bottom of the layer stack. Bump up the stroke weight and then add a Gaussian blur. How much blur and stroke you use is completely up to you, but do follow along today because we are going to be using several key techniques. Now add a second stroke and you can click on the eye icon to see which one you're using. And this second stroke is going to be white with a smaller weight and a less amount of blur. The third stroke is going to be a cool blue color with quite a heavy stroke weight and a medium sort of blur applied. The eclipse is starting to take shape as you can see, but let's go ahead and add a fourth and a final stroke for this part of the tutorial. This again is going to be cyan, but with a thick kind of stroke weight and a lower amount of blur. Great, so next with the circle highlighted, click the fill color in the appearance panel and add an inner glow. I'm going to go with a cyan color and a normal blend mode, but do feel free to experiment with the blur and the opacity of your design, but the inner glow should be quite subtle. Now we have some more effects coming up that are really going to make a big difference to the final design solution. But first it should be noted that with your design selected, you can press shift and W for the width tool. This will allow you to increase or decrease the stroke weight anywhere around your circle. And this might be something you want to play with, but I'm personally going to leave it alone today. I just thought you should be aware of it being there. So make sure you do not have the circle selected and then clear the selection in the appearance panel. This is going to erase all of the settings for color strokes and effects. I'm now going to make a crude shape using the curve tool and then I'm going to apply a cyan to white gradient on the shape. And those of you with Illustrator CC, you can press G and edit your gradient like this. We're going to apply a Gaussian blur to this shape and then make sure the circle is above all other objects. 
Now you can manipulate, adjust and change this new shape. And it's going to make the design so it has some kind of light trying to creep around from your eclipse. And this gives it some more mystique and some more interest. It can really look neat if you do play around with these shapes behind the eclipse. So like I said, sponsoring today's video is Envato with their really awesome marketplace filled with graphic design goodies. There really is such a huge selection of categories for you to choose from and they're displayed at the very top here. And we're going to be looking at the Illustrator add-ons very soon as I actually did make a quick design using their downloads. But yeah, there is a lot open to any creative or designer here on the Envato marketplace. So in the Illustrator add-on menu, you will find neat effects, typography styles, which look really decent and they do save you time, textures, gradient swatches, and so much more. I actually liked this grunge style set of brushes, and so I gave it a download and utilized it quickly to make a neat design. And here's how I did it. So I grabbed one of the grunge brushes, and then I copied it with Command or Control C. I selected my design, and then I came into the transparency window. I then clicked the make mask option, uncheck clip, and then in the right hand box, I press command or control V to paste in the texture. And then it's just a case of repositioning the brush until satisfied. And this is one quick way to make use of the brushes that I downloaded, and they really do save time in a workflow. But yeah, check out Envato Marketplace linked down below and see what awesome graphic design resources you can make use of in your next project. I hope you guys have fun designing this eclipse and of course do tag me on Twitter or Instagram if you do decide to go ahead and recreate it for yourself. Click one of the videos on screen to learn more graphic design techniques and until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.